Okay, so this video here is for Algebra 1. We have uh, some of assessment coming up here, and here is an example of an extended response question you might see. So it says, students are raising money for a field trip by selling scented candles and specialty soap. The candles cost 75 cents each and will be sold for $1.75, and the soap costs $1.25 per bar and will be sold for $3.25. The students need to raise at least $200 to cover their trip costs. Write an equality that relates the number of candles C and the number of bars of soaps S to the needed income. So if I take a look at this problem here, um, I give you a hint. Revenue minus cost equals profit. When you buy and sell things, whatever you sell, you get money for. That's revenue. And whatever you spend to make something, that's cost. And that's a negative thing. All right? So um, we're going to take a look at that when we build this inequality. And there's just one inequality we're going to build here. Now, first of all, I don't like to use C and S, so I'm going to change this. So X is going to be the candles because it's listed first. Y is going to be the soap. Okay, so I'm going to go through, and anything that says cost gets a negative in front of it. Anything that says sold gets a positive. So the candle costs 75 cents each. That's a negative because it's a cost. And each candle is X. Uh, but I'm going to sell them for $1.75. Uh, each bar of soap costs $1.25. That's $1.25Y. But I'm going to make, or I'm going to make because I'm going to sell them for $3.25 each. And I want that to be at least, these are the keywords, at least $200. At least means I can make that, but I'd like to have more. Greater than or equal to. 200. And now I'm going to simplify this so I can combine the negative 0.75 and the 1.75 to get 1x. I'm going to simplify these y's. Minus 125 plus 325 is positive 2y. That needs to be greater than or equal to 200. And there's your inequality. So now we move on down here, and don't forget that inequality. I'm going to leave it at the top there. Hopefully you can see it still. Uh, it says the wholesaler can supply no more than 80 bars of soap and no more than 140 candles. Graph the inequality from part A and these constraints using the number of candles uh, for the vertical axis. And again, we're going we're gonna to cross that off because our number of candles is X. So cross this off. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this statement here. No more than 80 bars of soap and no more than 140 candles. So notice here, in this problem, we're letting X be candles and Y be bars of soap. So this first statement here, no more than 80 bars of soap, that means that Y must be less than or equal to 80. And for the no more than 140 candles, that means that X must be less than or equal to 140. And we have that inequality from up above. x, I'm going to put just x, plus 2y is greater than or equal to 200. Now this is my system right here. Now in order to solve this, I'm going to simplify the, uh, or I'm going to put the bottom one in slope intercept form. So I'll rewrite it right here, x plus 2y greater than or equal to 200. I'll subtract x from both sides to y greater than or equal to negative x plus 200. And now I'll divide by 2 on both sides. And then, you know, hopefully you stop yourself and say, oh, it's an inequality. I'm dividing by 2. But that's a positive 2. No big deal. So the 2's cancel. y comes down greater than or equal to. Now we have to do this divide by 2 to both the negative x and the positive 200. Now remember that there is a negative 1 in front of that x. So that just becomes negative 1 half x. And then 200 divided by 2 is positive 100. And now I'm ready to graph uh, these three inequalities. Um, so here's my graph. I made it big for you. Um, we're going to count by 20s. In order to get 140 on here, I need to count by 20s. So to set up my graph here, uh, remember that x is candles. Y is soap. I'm going to count by uh, 20s. So this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 140, right there. Uh, this is 20. And remember, I talked about counting by the same on the X and Y axis. 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 140. 
And now I'll graph this one first. Uh, I'm going to run out of colors, so I'm going to use red for this one. So this will be red. So I'll go up to 100. Uh, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And because I'm counting by the same amount on the x and y axis, this negative 1 half, down 1 to the right 1, I can just use the solid blocks. Down 1 to the right 2. Down 1 to the right 2. Again, you can do it small, down 1 to the right 2, and you would still be on this line, right? Down 1 to the right 2 would be something like that. But you'd still be on line. And this is a solid line. So again, I'll do my best to make it straight. It's hard on this, uh, hard on this software. Okay, so that's my best job. And greater than means above, so I'm going up here. And again, notice how lightly I do it, or I don't do too many, because there's going to be a lot of shading going on. And next I'll do, um, though, let's do this one, the x equals in blue. So x is less than or equal to 140. So on the x-axis, which is this one, go to where? That's 140. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20. Here's 140. Put a dash, and it's vertical, so go up and down with it. So I'll go up. And less than means to the left. So now I'm going this way with it. And again, I don't go crazy, but there I am. And then the last one I'll do here in purple. So now I go to where y is 80. So this is the y-axis. Go up to where it's 80, 20, 40, 60, 80. There's 80. Solid line across. And I have to be less than, which is going to be below. And now what I do is I shade and I'll use black where the three overlap. And it looks like the three overlap right here. So that's above the slanted line, to the left of the vertical, and below the horizontal. And that is the solution space right there. And now it says, what does the shaded area of your graph represent? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw an arrow up to that. And I'm going to say, this is the solution. And what does that represent? Well, that represents all combinations, all combinations of candles and soap to be sold. That will meet the group's uh, wishes of making at least $200 uh, following those constraints. Okay. So there we go. And if you want to, you could pick out uh, a point here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll do it in blue here. I'll draw an arrow up to it. Looks at that point is 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, uh, 20, 40, 60, which means 120 candles and 60 soap. And if the group sold that, they would then meet all of their conditions. So I feel like the uh, word problems with these inequalities is the hardest type. You might see something like this as the extended response. You might see it on the test. So make sure you can go ahead and do a problem like this. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on uh, Wednesday for your uh, summative assessment.